أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم everybody um, I'm going to select a student to start of the class um, with our opening prayer so if you've not read this week could you please raise your hand okay let's have um, A5131 Assalamu alaikum, A5131. Wa alaikum salam. Okay. Um, could you please read this prayer that's been highlighted over here? Okay. Allahumma inni as'aluka ilman nafi'an. Jazakallah. And could you please read the translation as well? Oh Allah, I ask you for beneficial knowledge. Jazakallah. Thank you very much. A5131. So uh, this opening prayer, as you know, um, we start each of our classes with um, selected prayers for learning and teaching the Holy Quran. So on Tuesday, we did the first prayer, Wednesday, the second prayer, and we are now on this third prayer over here. So inshallah, each day we'll be doing a different prayer. Uh, and hopefully the aim is that by the end of the course, we'll have memorized all of these prayers. So, um, as I understand, in your lessons earlier this week, um, you've been covering uh, lesson number one. So, lesson number one is 20 common errors, um, and these are the most common errors which occur in the Lavat. Um, and on Tuesday and Wednesday, I believe that you've been covering um, the rules one to three, which are um, basically making sure that when you have the strokes of Fatha, Dhamma, and Kasra, that you're not prolonging it. Um, for more than one second so um, I'll just do a very very quick recap so you can see over here this is rule number one this is regarding the stroke of Fatha as you can see all of these words that have been selected in the examples they've all got the stroke of Fatha so what I'd like to do is if I can have um, one person this time from Nasirat if they can raise their hand very quickly Okay, N6148 was the first one. So let me just find you. That's fine, you can lower your hands. Okay, Assalamu alaikum, N6148. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. Um, Could you please have a read of the examples written in this line? Okay. Excellent. And if we move to the next slide, so rule number two, exactly the same. This time we're looking at the Kasra stroke and we're making sure it's just one second long. So if you can read these examples. Shariba, Labitha, um, Baladi, Azina, Amila. Excellent, Jazakallah. And the final stroke that we're looking at is the stroke of Dhamma. So this is like uh, like the shape of the apostrophe. We're remembering all this is going to be one second as well. So if you can read these examples. Fu'ila, Yahabu, Qutila, Su'ila, Jumia. Excellent. Jazakillah. So in summary, could you explain to the rest of the students what do you have to remember when you're um, considering these three rules about Fatha, Dhamma and Qasra? What do you have to remember to do? Uh, you prolong it for only one second. Yeah, excellent. Jazakillah. Thank you very much. That was really well read. So what I'm going to do is um, I've got random words that have been highlighted so this is taken from surah an najm from the holy quran um, and this is uh, chapter 53 and what i'm going to do is i will take a few students um, and we're just going to practice reciting these words bearing in mind what you learnt um, about the rules uh, regarding fatha dhamma and kasra so um, this time let's have another uh let's have um Let's have A5137. Assalamu alaikum, A5137. 
Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. How are you today? I'm alright. Okay, alhamdulillah, very good. So, uh, Surah An Najm we've got. Could you please just read the highlighted word over here at the start, starting with Bismillah first? So this one over here, remember, we've got the small dot. So this isn't, uh, it's not a ha, but a jim. Okay, so read that again for me. Okay, so when you're merging these two, um, just make the when you merge it, just make it flow a little a little bit better. One najami. najami. Very good. Okay. Can you read um this highlighted um selection of words here? Sahi Sahi Sub this word, this letter in the middle, let me just zoom in. What's this letter here? What letter do you know has um, just one dot underneath? Ba. Ba, very good. So all together it will be sahibukum. Sahibukum. Good. And what do you have to remember on this letter, this letter and this letter? What, what are these three strokes? Do you remember what we call them? Um, Dhamma. Yeah, so this is Dhamma. And what's this stroke over here? Kasra. Excellent. And what have we learnt from about the Fatha, Dhamma and Kasra? What do we have to remember to do? Prolong it for only one second. Brilliant. So if I read it like this, Sahibukum, what am I doing wrong there? Sahibukum. You're prolonging it for too long. Yeah, which letter am I prolonging too long? Um, here. Yeah, excellent. So just for the sake of practice, um, so you can hear it, um, that's just one example of a possible mistake that can be made with that word. Okay, um, what about this letter, this word over here? Allah, Allah, me, Allah. Almost there. So um, this lam, we are going to come to it later, but this is uh, a shadda on the lam. So what happens with the shadda um, is that you put extra emphasis on that letter. So this would be allamahu. Can you read that one time? Allamahu. 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 Okay, Jazakallah. Thank you very much. A5137. Um, this time I'm going to ask for uh, another student from Nasirat. So um, I'm looking for N6169, I think. Assalamu alaikum. N6169. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. Is that N6169? Yes. Yes. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so do you understand um, the three rules that we've learned so far about Fatha Dhamma Kasra? Yeah. Okay, brilliant. So what I want you to do is, can you please read this word that's highlighted over here? Fatha Dhamma. Excellent. And on these three, first three letters, what stroke do we have? What's this stroke over here? What do we call it? Um, Fatha Fatha, excellent, very good. And how many seconds do we have on a Fatha? Da. How many seconds do you think you'll have? So if you have just this one. Three, one second, excellent. So Fatha Dalla, very good. How about this one over here? Can you read this word that's highlighted? Makazaba. Very good. Makazaba. So again. Uh, Fatha on the gaf, dhal and ba, or one second. Very good. Um, how about this one over here? Jannatu. Very good. Jannatu. Just put a little bit more stress on the noon. Jannatu. Jannatu. Excellent. Very good. Um, okay, let's have this one a little bit longer over here. Read this word. Afara Aidu. 
very good. Can you tell me in this word which of the letters are going to have just one second prolongation? Fa. So fa, yes. Starting from the beginning. So starting from alif. Fa. Alif, yep. Fa, you said. Fa. Any other letters that have just one second? Hamza. So Hamza won't. Uh, the reason for that is because this is actually um, two second prolongation. We're going to come on to that in tomorrow's lesson, but um, Hamza will not have um, two, uh, one second there. So we've got Alif, Fa, Ra is going to have one second um, and also the Ta and also Meme if we're not joining it to the next word. Afara Aitumu. Okay? Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Jazakallah. That was really well read. Thank you very much. Um, so this time let's have um, just to finish off. Let's have um, A5167. Assalamualaikum. A5167. Yes. Assalamualaikum. Could you please read this next word? That's it's a little bit longer again, but um, just paying attention to um, the rules about Fatha Dhamma Kasra. Yeah. Okay, read it one more time. Just make it flow a little bit better. Okay, good. Um, and in this final part of the word here, which two which two letters are going to be just one second prolongation? Um, za. Yeah, so val just got fatha. Which other letters have got just fatha dhamma or kasra? Uh, yep, and um, ku. This one over here. So this is Ra. Yeah. So yeah. Ruth. All of these are going to be one second. Very good. Can you read this word over here, please? Tamanna. Okay. Uh, okay. Jazakallah. That's fine. Thank you very much. So uh, Jazakallah. We are going to move um, to rules six, seven and uh, uh, sorry, no, four, five and six. So one to three was Fatha Dhamma Kasra. Uh, I think generally you all have an understanding of it. It's just to be mindful of how much time you give to a, a letter that has those strokes. So the next um, rule that we're looking at is um, regarding the vertical fatha. So we've got vertical fatha, which is um, this small sign over here. Then we have vertical kasra, which appears underneath. It's the same sign, but underneath the letter. And the final one, which we have, we call it inverse dhamma. Um, and it's a bit like a six um, written over there, like an upside down apostrophe sign. So, um, and this again appears uh, above the letter. So with these three strokes, remember we've done fatha dhamma kasra, which are the basic short vowel strokes. They're just one second. With these three strokes, we have to remember to give it uh, two seconds. So the rule says, do not prolong a, a letter which carries a vertical fatha dhamma or kasra, more than two counts, two seconds, two beats. So the key number that we're focusing Focusing on for these strokes is going to be two um, and the reason that we really stress um, timing on these letters is because um, when you give improper timing or if you prolong it too much um, it can really have an impact on the meaning and we don't want to be doing that when we're reading the Holy Quran so it's really important um, to bear in mind how much time you give to all of these different strokes in the Holy Quran so what we'll do is um, we have a few examples. So this is just, again, the strokes, vertical fatha, vertical kasra, and inverse dhamma. And these are all two seconds. So you have to look out for how they appear on a letter. And what we're going to do is we're going to practice this exercise over here, which has got examples of vertical fatha. Uh, and then we've got some other exercises as well. So again, I'm going to choose another student. Um, this time, let's have... Uh, N six one six five. Assalamualaikum. N six one six five. Waalaikumsalam. Okay. How are you today? You okay? Yes. 
Okay, alhamdulillah. Very good. So can you see this letter over here uh, or this word over here? Right. Yeah. So could you just read this word that I've highlighted? Excellent. And out of all these three um, letters, which one is going to have two seconds prolongation? Aleph. Excellent. Very good. And what appears on the Aleph? What's the stroke on the Aleph? Mm -hmm. What do you call it? Can you remember from what I just mentioned? Hadi. Sorry, could you speak up a little bit? I can't quite hear you. Kari Fata? Uh, so, yeah, I think you're mixing um, the two words. So, not Kari Zabar, but we're, we're going to use the correct terminology because we're studying the Holy Quran, which is in the Arabic language. It's really important that we use the correct terminology. So, what we call this is a vertical Fatha. Yeah, so it's basically like a standing Fatha. Um, so, if I just go back to this slide, vertical Fatha for this one. For the one that appears underneath, vertical kasra, and then we have inverse dhamma, okay? Okay. Okay, good. So could you please read the next one? Kalamu. Very good. And again, which letter has got the vertical fatha this time? Lam. Excellent, very good. Next one. Kitabu. Very good. And the next one. Khaliqu. Excellent. Next one. Adhara. Very good. And the last one. Ayati. Okay. Excellent. Jazakallah. That was really well read. Do you feel that you understand the rule okay? Yes. Yeah. Do you have any questions so far? No. Okay. Perfect. Jazakallah. Thank you very much. So let's have a tifl this time, please. Um... Let's have A5166. Assalamu alaikum, A5166. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Um, please could you read the next line? Just one second. Uh, starting from here, please. Um, a church. So this is, it's not going to be ta. Remember, the dots for ta, they appear above the uh, the word. So this is underneath. Very good. And the next one. And the next one. Just make it a little bit shorter. I think it's um, a bit more than two seconds. So it doesn't need to be too long. So thalathu. Very good. And the last one. Okay, Jazakallah. Thank you very much. And uh, another Nasara, uh, student from Nasara. Let's have N6170. Assalamu alaikum. N6170. Wa alaikum aslam. Could you please carry on reading? Okay. Wa ahu. Very good. Um, just read, read this last one over here. Kala. Very good. Moving to this one. Um, if you start with this word here. Biyadihi. Read it one more time. Biyadihi. Just make the ya a tiny bit longer. Biyadihi. Okay. Biyadihi. Excellent. Um, and what's going to be the differentiation in the timings for, for example, this ha and the rest of the letters? What's the difference in the timings? Um, ha has to be for two seconds and the yeah. rest has to be for one. Excellent. And what's the reason for that? Because ha has a vertical kasra. Very good. Well done. And the next one over here, please. Kudubihi. This one over here. Oh, sorry. That's this one over here. And just do the final one over here. Okay, excellent. Jazakallah, really well read. Are you quite confident with that? Do you have any questions about that? Um, I am confident, but I don't have any questions. Okay, that's fine. Jazakallah, thank you very much. That was really well read. Um, let's have another tifl. Let's have... Uh,
A516. Uh, six five. Okay. Assalamualaikum. A five one six five. Salam. Um, could you please read? So let's move on to this one. Could you please read this one over here? Oh, there. Just this. Uh, hey, da, bu, hu, uh, hu, yeah. da, hu. Read it one more time. Excellent, very good. And in this word, which two um, which two sets of letters are going to be for two seconds and which two are going to be for just one second? So the kha would be for one second and yep. the mi would be for one second. The yep, kha would be for two and the kha would be for two. Brilliant. And could you read this one over here? Ma -ah what do you think you might have done wrong over here? Uh, so bearing in mind our I, I prolonged it. Yeah, so read it one more time. Ma -ha no, no. Ma -a -hu. Little bit less time. Ma -a -hu. Ma -a -hu. Very good. And this one over here. Khala oh, no. Khala yeah, very good. Just make it a little bit more fluent. Very good. And this one over here, please. And read one more time. Excellent, very good. Jazakallah. Um, do you have any questions so far? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, that's fine. Jazakallah. Thank you very much. Let's have another student um, from Nasrat. Let's have... N6142. Assalamu alaikum. N6142? N6142, are you there? No, it doesn't seem to be there. Or okay, let's try someone else. Okay, let's have N six one four three. Assalamualaikum N six one four three. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Um, please, can you read this next word? Okay. Warisahu. Read it one more time. Warisahu. Okay. Just make this um who a little bit longer. Warisahu. Warisahu. Good. The reason I'm saying that is because we want to have um a bit more of a difference between the two seconds on this inverse dhamma compared to the fatha uh, and the kasra on the other letters. So um try with this one now, please. Ja'alahu. Very good. And this one over here. Ma'alahu. Uh, so you've got the alif and the lam the wrong way around. So read it again. So this will be Ma lam first and then alif. Ma'alahu. Very good. And the next one. Ma'alahu. And just read this last one, please. Ita bahu. Make uh, this ha uh, a bit longer as well. So remember, you've done the two seconds on the ta because it's got the vertical fatha. But also remember, you've got inverse dhamma on the ha. So that's also two seconds. So kita bahu. Kita bahu. Okay. Do you have any questions so far? about the last two lessons we've done? No. Okay, Jazakallah, Jazakallah, thank you very much. Um, okay, let's have another diff, um, A5170. Assalamu alaikum, A5170. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Please, could you read this next word? 
Yarahu. And the next one. Oh. Ma'ahu. Yeah, and the next one. Yarahu. Wuriya. 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 And the last one, please. Duburahu. Just read this one one more time. Duburahu. Okay, so make um, this, these three letters, Dal, Ba, and Ra, Duburahu. Make these three equal, and then this one a little bit longer. Duburahu. 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 Okay, Jazakallah. Thank you very much. Um, do you have any questions at all? Um, no. Okay, that's fine. Jazakallah. Thank you very much. Hopefully, um, those exercises are helpful to you. Um, very quickly, what I'm going to do is just show you how you can access um, the recordings to these lessons. So you can, in your own time, you can go back and review um, what we've been learning. So the first thing is... Um, your website is going to be nqc.org.uk, so NQC um, National Dali Quran class. Um, you're going to, this is the first page that's going to come up and you're going to go to class recordings over here. And because you are the G2 group, you're going to click on G2 classes and then you're going to get a list of um, all of the different courses we've done so far. So the one that we're um, focusing on for this course, it's January till March, 2018. So you just click on this one over here um, and this will take you to the recordings of the classes so far. Um, and as you can see as well, there's the um, link to the YouTube channel and um, we'd highly recommend that you subscribe to them because you will then get notifications every time a new class is uploaded. So these are here for the purpose of your revision um, to review and if you feel that uh, maybe the pace is a little bit too fast and you want to um, review the content this is here um, to help you so please do take advantage of it um, again so that's nqc.org.uk and then class recordings g2 january to march 2018 um, so please do use that for your uh, revision in your own time what we're going to do now is we're going to move again to uh, recitation of the holy quran and again we are focusing on surah an najm um, chapter 53 and what i've done is i've highlighted all of the places in the quran um, in just the first ruku of this surah um, where you have either either vertical fatha, vertical kasra, or inverse dhamma. So, because we're focusing on that this particular rule in this lesson, um, that's why I've highlighted them just so it's a bit clearer. So, what I'll do is um, we're going to start some recitation practice, and I'm going to pick um, another student from Nasirat. So, let's have um, N six one four three. Actually, no, we've had N6143 already. Let's have N6136. Assalamu alaikum, N6136. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you finding the lesson so far? Are you understanding everything? Kind of. Yeah. What, is there any questions you'd like to ask? No, like, no. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is starting with Bismillah. If you can just read, recite this first verse over here. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Vanaj me iza ha 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 Good. So, um, which is the word? Um, which has got the vertical fatha that we're prolonging for two seconds. Wa. Good. So the wa in hawa. Excellent. Very good. Um, if you can carry on reading this verse. Ma zalasa he bukum wa ma khava. Good. Excellent. And again, which um, is the letter which carries the vertical fatha that we're prolonging for two seconds? Va. Very good. Okay. And just read the next verse for me, please. Va ma yan 
titikku uh, anil ha- hava very good so um i just want to test your knowledge so if i read it yantiqu what's my mistake yantiqu what am i making what mistake am i making in this word um you're uh, you're prolonging the t t for two seconds yeah so i'm prolonging it too long and how, what do we have to remember about this stroke of kasra how many seconds are we prolonging for one one second excellent so um what about in this word if i read it alamahu what's my mistake um you're prolonging the la for two seconds and um you're prolonging the half for one second when it's supposed to be two seconds yeah excellent okay jazakillah thank you very much for that let's have um another student now let's have a5151 assalamualaikum a5151 a5151 or A5154, are you there? Okay. Let's have someone else then. Uh, let's have A5158. Aslam alaikum. A5158. Wa alaikum aslam. Um, could you please read uh, from this verse over here, verse number five? In huwa illa wah yun 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 ha yun jo ha. Okay, Jazakallah. So over here, um, just the this word over here. Um, how many seconds are you going to give um, on each letter? So ha and wow, how many seconds will each letter get? Uh, one. One second. So I'll just read um, the verse again, paying particular attention to this word. In hu hu i illa wa yuju ha. Okay, excellent. Jazakallah. And can you carry on to the next verse? Alam hu shadidul kuwa. That was almost there. So over here, what you did, um, you basically applied a sukoon onto the mim rather than reading it as a fatha. So I think you read it as alam hu, but you remember, want to remember this is a fatha stroke on the mim. So how do you think you might read this word? Alamahu. Excellent. Very good. So read the verse one more time. Alamahu. Shadi. Dul. Kuva. Okay. Great. Jazakallah. And the next verse, please. Zumiratin. Ti. Fastawa. Very good. And which letter in this verse is the one that's carrying the vertical fatha? The vowel. Excellent. And how many seconds on vertical fatha? Two. Okay, brilliant. Jazakallah. Do you have any questions about the first two lessons so far? Uh, no. No? Okay, brilliant. Jazakallah. Thank you very much. Um, let's have, again, another Nasra student. Um Okay, N6172. Assalamu alaikum, N6172. Walaikum assalam. Are you following the lesson so far? Do you have any questions? Um, right oh. now. Okay, great. Um, so if you can carry on from the next verse, number eight. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa huwa bil ufu so over here um what's the stroke on the far let me just make it a little bit bigger what's the stroke on this letter here dhamma excellent very good and what do we know about um dhamma what do we know about that stroke um, How many seconds do we give it? You, um, 
do it for one second. Excellent. So what your um, mistake over here was that you prolonged the fart a little bit too long, yeah? So what you want to do is make sure that um, this alif um, and this far they are the same amount of time. Bil ufuqi, okay? Um, so read the verse again one more time. Just pay attention to the timing on this far. Wa huwa bil ufuqi. Ufuqi ala... Allah. Okay, good. And again, which is the word, uh, which is the letter which carries the vertical fatha in this um, verse? No. Excellent. Very good. Can you carry on to verse number nine? Summa dana fatha dala. Very good. And verse number ten, please. Fakana kaba kousay. Okay, Jazakallah. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions or is that all um, well understood? Um, I don't have any questions. Okay, great. Jazakallah. Thank you very much. Let's have another diff. Let's have... Um, A5125. Assalamu alaikum, A5125. Okay. Could you please um, carry on? So if you start here from verse number 11. Um, your speaker is a little bit low. Are you able to turn the volume up a bit? No. Okay, I could just about hear you, but I think that was okay. Um, just read the next verse for me, please. So the only mistake here was... Um, one of the strokes in this word, gadaba, it was a bit too long, okay? So remember, we've just got fatha on the ga, fadal, and the ba. So um, read the verse again and just put less time, uh, equal amount of time of just one second on each of these. Okay, I think you made the same mistake. Um, the mistake was on the gaf, so I think you're reading it a little bit too long. Remember, it's just fatha on the gaf, so ma kathabal fu'adu ma ra'a. Ma kathabal, okay? So just read the first part, ma kathabal. Good. Ma kathabal fu'adu. Ma kathabal fu'adu. Ma ra'a. Okay, Jazakallah. Thank you very much. Um, again, let's have uh, a dipple. Uh, sorry, a student from Nasrat this time. Um, okay, N six one six zero. Assalamualaikum. N six one six zero. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. I haven't chosen you so far, have I? No. Okay, that's fine, no problem. Um, if you can carry on then from verse number 13, please. Okay. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Afatumaru Nahu Alama Yara. Okay, and of the letters um, that appear in this verse, which are the ones carrying um, two seconds of prolongation? Ma. Hu, la, and ra. Yeah, so meme, ha, lam, and ra. Very good. Yeah. And carry on with the next um, verse, please. Valakad ra'a hunaz latan ukhra. Okay, very good. Um, and the next verse, please. Indasid ratil muntaha. 
Oh, okay. Um, we are going to come onto this rule later, but it's basically just saying that when you're reciting, um, try not to take a breath in the middle of words, yeah? So, for example, okay. over here, Sidrati, rather than pausing in the middle, um, sometimes your breath breaks, which is it's, it's natural, but just train yourself to try to read the whole word fully and then take a breath. So this is quite a little verse. It shouldn't be too difficult. So, عند Sidrati muntaha. Okay. Um, in, in the Sidratil Muntaha. Okay, good. And just read up to here, please. In the Ha Jannatul Ma'va. Okay, very good. Jazakillah. Do you have any questions at all? Um, No. Okay, that's fine. Jazakillah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, Let's have A5. One six nine. Assalamu a five one six nine. Walaikum assalam. Uh, please, could you carry on um, to the next verse? So, verse number seventeen from here. Auz billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Iz yar sha. And the next verse. Uh, just read this part again, please. Okay, so over here, um, when you're, we are going to come on to this in tomorrow's lesson, um, but we have over here two examples of Alif Madda. So just um, when you're reading it, make it an equal amount of time of two seconds. Ma zara. Ma basaru wa ma paga. What do you think you might have done wrong on this final word? Um, I prolonged the ta too long. Excellent, very good. So just read from Wama again. Wama Tara. Excellent, very good. And the next verse. Lakad Ra Min Ayati Rabihil Kubra. Excellent, Jazakallah. Are you happy with that or do you have any questions that you'd like to ask? I do have a question. Yeah. You know verse number 10? Yeah. Um, when it says Faka or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. know the card? Do we have to prolong it? Yeah, so again, this is going to be part of tomorrow's lesson. This alif, which is attached to this scarf, this is an alif madda, which means that we're prolonging this for two seconds. So this will be Fakana. Okay? Okay, Jazakallah. No problem. Um, Jazakallah, that was well read. Thank you very much. Uh, we will have another student. Let's have uh, N6150. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, sorry, wrong one. N6150, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. Are you following the lesson so far? Do you want to ask any questions? N6150, are you there? N6150, hello, hello Sanakum. N6150, can you hear me? Wa alaikum as -salam, yes. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, um, can you recite then from uh, from here, from Laqad? Uh, okay. Azbillah min shaitan irajim, bismillahir rahmanir rahim, Laqad ra'a min ayati rabbihil kubura. Very good, an excellent rounding of the ra. Very good, um, and the next one. Very good, and uh, the next one. 
ثالثة العجرة Not أجرة So remember جيم is underneath What's this letter here? Oh um, لثة الأخرى uh, Just read from the start of the verse It's better to do it from the beginning ومنة الثالثة الأخرى Excellent. And this final verse, please. عليكم الذكر وله وله العنثى. Okay. We are going to come um on this lesson later on in the course. Um, but just when you're reading this alif here, um, yes. and also this one over here, just be careful not to. Um, it can sometimes be confused with an ayn sound, so just remember to oh. keep it as a simple alif. Yeah, so read it one more okay. time. Excellent, Jazakallah. That was really well read and really good um, pronunciation of the letters. So, mashallah, very good. Jazakallah. Thank you very much. Um, as I said, we are going to come to that lesson um, later on in the course, inshallah, but. Um, Overall, I'm quite impressed with the level of recitation um, and I'm quite happy with um, how you're grasping this lesson. So well done. Again, if you feel like um, you could do with a bit more practice, um, please do take advantage of the recordings which are um, going to be available online. Um, let's have a couple more students. So um, A5131. Assalamu alaikum A5131. Walaikum salam. How are you doing today? Are you following the lesson okay? Yes. Okay, excellent. Um, can you please recite from here? Okay. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Tilka izan kismatun za. Good. And the next one? This is quite a long verse. In here, illa asma un samay tu muha un tum wa aba u kum kumma an zalallahu biha min. Sultani in no, no, a yet the be una illa illa zana wama the wall and fusu wall a good jar a hum Okay, Jazakallah. So what I want you to do is, um, in this first line, just over here, can you give me an example of any word that will be prolonged for just one second? So it contains strokes that will just be for one second. So yeah. we're looking... Yep, excellent. So if you're reading this collectively, just this word on its own, how will you read this? Here. Here, excellent. So the ha will be one second because it's got just kasra and the ya will be one second because of the fatha. So um, just read it up to here um, and also over here. So we've got this word here. How many seconds on the scene? One on the scene. One second there. Um, and how many seconds on the da? One. One second. And what's the reason for that? Why do these two just have one second on them? Because they're not vertical. Yeah, so they're just the basic short vowel strokes of fatha and dhamma. Okay, very good. Um, okay, how about over here? Um, let's look at this word over here. So talk me through each of these letters. How many seconds will they have, starting with alif? One. One second, very good. Um, Noon has a sukun, so it's a mute letter. We don't um, prolong it. Um, the next letter over here, za, how many seconds? One. One second. And the final letter? One. One second. So collectively, how are we going to read this? Anzala. Very good. And if we're joining it with the next word, 
how are you reading this, these two together? Anzalallahu. Very good. Anzalallahu. Excellent. Very good. Um, can you find me in this line any example of um, a word which contains a letter which is going to be prolonged for two seconds because it's got vertical fatha, vertical kasra, or inverse dhamma? The highlighted lamb. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you mean this one over here? Yeah. Yep, very good. Um, okay, how about... Um, okay, over here. So just over here, how many seconds will each letter have? One, one, and one second. Excellent. So collectively, how do we read this one word? Walla, good. Excellent. Very good. Jazakallah. Do you have any questions so far? No. Okay, that's great. Jazakallah. Thank you very much. Um, let's have one more student from Nasrat. Um, okay, let's have N6154. Asalaamu Alaikum. N6154. N6154. Can you hear me? Um, okay, I can't seem to unmute you, N6154. So, uh, oh, there we go. N6154, are you there? No, okay, let's try someone else. Um, Okay, N6135. Assalamu alaikum, N6135. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Um, please, could you start from over here? This from Amlil Insani. Okay. Aus Bilahim and Shaitan Erajim, Bismillah, Herman Erajim. Amlil in Sani Matam Mana. Um, for this. Make make the word flow a little bit letter a uh, little bit better, and also just um, put some extra stress on the noon. Again, we haven't covered it um, yet, but we will come to it. So matamana, tamana, tamana, tamana. Very good. Read the verse one more time for me. Um, lil in san ni matam. Tamana. Okay, good. And the next verse, please. Falila hil a hiratu val ula. Okay, good. And in this verse over here, which strokes have got the vertical fatha? Lam, a leaf, and again lam. Yep, excellent. Um, and can you carry on reading to the next verse, please? Vakamin Mimalakin Fisamavati Latuni Shafatukum. So just um, in this word over here. Again, it's one word, so we don't want to break it up too much. Shafa'atuhum. Shafa'atuhum. Very good. Carrying on. Shay'an ila min min ba'di aya zanalahu liman maya sha'u va yarza. Okay, Jazakillah. Thank you very much. That was well read. Do you feel that you understand everything that we've covered in this course so far? Thank you. Okay, Jazakillah. Thank you very much. Jazakumala um, to all the students that have read today. Um, I'm quite impressed with the level of recitation um, and inshallah with lots of practice um, and regular recitation at home, I'm sure um, all of you will improve even more. 
Um, so just to summarise very, very quickly, our first three rules in lesson number one were regarding Fatha Dhamma and Kasra, where we remember we're only prolonging for one second. And the rules that we've covered to, uh, today are uh, four, five and six regarding vertical Fatha, vertical Kasra and inverse Dhamma, which are two seconds. So um, by the end of this week, what I'd really like you to try to grasp is um, A, the terminology and B, um, just remembering the timings. I think a lot of you know, um, but sometimes in recitation, it, when you have so many rules to think about, it can you can sometimes confuse the timing. So uh, one second for Fathah Dhamma Kasra and two seconds for the other three strokes that we've learned about today. What I'm going to do is um, just do a very quick reminder. Please remember um, there are still a few students that are using their personal names and haven't got their IDs listed. Um, and if you do come with the incorrect ID, we will not select you um, for recitation. So please bear that in mind. We do want this to be an interactive lesson. We don't want to exclude anyone, but um, in order to actively participate and to be given the mic, we do want you to have um, your correct ID. So there's only a handful of you now um, left. So please do go back and check that email where you received your correct um, student ID. Um, and also there are still a few videos that keep popping up. Um, one word of advice might be um, if you want to cover it with um, your webcam or the camera in your uh, laptop or whatever, just cover it with um, post it or something that will um, make sure that even if it does come on your face isn't shown so um, those are the two points to remember your IDs and your video um, and what I'll do is we will conclude the class with our final prayer and this time I'll choose um, let's have a look from the file uh, a5158 as I'm looking a5158 oh sorry I've picked you already haven't I um, Let's try someone else. A5153. Asam Nikum A5153? No. Okay. Um. Uh. Let's have A five one four seven. Assalamualaikum. A five one four seven. Waalaikum assalam. Please, could you recite um, our final prayer? Okay. Are you okay to recite on your own, or would you like me to recite and you follow me? Um, you to recite and follow. Okay, that's fine. Allahumma rahamni. Allahumma arhamni Bil Quran al Azim Bil Quran al Azim Waja al Huli Waja al Huli Imam Mawa Imam Mawa Nuran wa Nuran wa Hudan wa Rahma Hudan wa Rahma Okay, Jazakallah. And can you read the translation, please? Yeah. Oh Allah, have mercy on me through the great Quran. And make it for me the leader, the light, the guidance, and the mercy. Okay, Jazakallah. Thank you very much. Um, and thank you for everyone's participation in this class. And inshallah, see you for the final lesson of the week tomorrow at 7 p.m. Um, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.